Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Yugensiki Racing, and today I'm going to talk about toe-in, and basically just some of the simple steps of how I adjust and set my toe-in, and also my feelings on setup stations or just using traditional gauges to set your toe. Okay, so here we have the front of my vehicle, and kind of you can get an overhead view of the toe that I generally run. Um, what I'll try to do from now on on my setup sheets is actually give a length where I measure from one steering end to the other. Um, that way, instead of knowing the exact degrees of toe, you know that measurement and you're able to duplicate that with any of your vehicles. So one thing that makes it difficult to set the toe is the amount of bump steer the car can have as it goes through the travel and also depending on what your ride height is set at um, there can be a lot of variables that determine how much tow you have um, so what I like to do is I always set my ride height first and then I just pretty much set my tow um, based off of the length of these rods um, you can use like a setup station but again sometimes it can give you kind of false reading based upon, um, again, your ride height and things like that. Um, but another simple trick that you can use is if you have a flat table and then something that has like a wall or a backsplash, you can actually take a camber gauge and you can take the camber gauge and basically Pretend that there's a flat surface or a wall here. Roll the car up to that wall to where it butts up against the wall. Use the camber gauge as your toe gauge. So just kind of a simple trick. Um, again, not, I guess, the most accurate, but at the end of the day, what it comes down to is how the vehicle handles and performs on the track. So to me, the actual number or the exact degree of tow isn't what's important. It's tweaking and adjusting the length of your steering rods to get the proper feel that you like on the track. 